Hey everybody, welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars. And we are here at the lovely 906 in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And you can see they have a lovely bar back behind us. Lots of uh, things to choose from. So, without further ado, we're going to go over Castle and Key Restoration Run. This is a uh, batch that's from 2021. It, uh, they usually do like three batches a year. And this one is batch number two. And this is 18,560 is the bottle number <laughs> of this batch. So uh, it's aged approximately three and a half years. Yeah. Uh, 104 proof. So it's gonna be a little bit higher than what your wheelhouse is on the rise. Since you're a Pendleton 12 year fan. It's nice. It's real nice. It's, it is pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. Since you're a beginner. Yeah. Beginner. <laughs> well, I mean, you're going from that being an 80 proof to this 104 yeah. proof. So, I mean, it's 24 points higher. So. It'll be noticeable. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. It'll be noticeable. You should be excited. You should be. Yeah. Mass bill on this is 17% uh, uh, yellow corn, 63% rye, and 20% malted barley. Um, for this particular batch, so good. I mean, when they have that really many nice freaking stuff. bottles, that's a gigantic batch. But anyway, yeah. well, I mean, it is to us. It is to us. I mean, I have no idea what consider what companies consider small batch versus you know just. You know. Well, I mean, think of how many barrels that is because when you get, you know, just two under two hundred bottles, you know, depending well, on how long two it takes, three and a half, you probably get. Is, is that like barrel strength, or is that being proofed down? Uh, out of that barrel. You usually get on 750 milliliter mm -hmm. bottles. You usually get around 200 ish at this age. Okay. If it's the longer, yeah, the longer it ages, it ages the, the more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this being three and a half years, if, let's just say 200 is a good even number. You know, I mean that's a lot of barrels to get 18,000. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, um, I'm glad they did it because I'm excited to try. Me too. Me too. So let's get after it. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. A little clove. Oh, Cam's not here. Good job. A little brown sugar, maybe. Nice nose. Nice hug on the back end. I like it. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Very good. It is very good. It's yummy. There you yummy. go. It's yummy. yummy. The key phrase yeah. that you coined. Yeah. You got spicy and yummy. Yeah. Scrumtralescent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is this. It's delicious. It's yummy. It's I don't know what, what the hell you want to call it. No, but it's all good. Of it is, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. very solid. It's good. Very solid nose. pour. So Smooth. let's spotlight on you for a second. Wow. This versus the the Pendleton twelve year rye. This is twenty four points higher, like we discussed. Yeah. What does this difference mean to you? Does it the, turn you off? Does it? It Drawing doesn't in, turn me in. off. It's just the 12 year doesn't give you a hug, and this does. What y'all know, I'm not very experienced on rise, yeah. so it's or being a man for that yeah, matter. But. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean it's smooth. It's got a good nose, uh, and then you get the hug at the end. It's not too much, but I mean, I mean I like it. I mean, so you know, with the Pendleton, you don't experience no. the, that typical rye mm -mm. Uh, burn on the back end. No, not uh, even in, not even a little. So is this your first experience with yeah. something like that? Yeah, something, uh, this is probably honestly the only second rye I've ever had, which we've talked and the Pendleton, I guess, is not considered a- Well, you've had a, a knob rye. Yeah, sure, you've had yeah, a knob rye. I don't think I have. I think you tasted it in the behind the scenes. Oh, I may have. I don't know. Yeah, I think I don't you remember. did. I think yeah, sure you did. Okay. Yeah. Third rye I've ever had, like I said. <laughs> uh, the hug doesn't bother me. The fact that it's 20% higher it doesn't bother me. Or 20% higher, sorry. Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. Yeah. it's You're inexperienced. It's it, okay. I am inexperienced in it, so I can't. Let me ask you this. Do you it. like it? I do like it. Okay. I do. Well, I just, you know, this is the this 
spicing this up on the back end of the pallet is a typical thing that we experience from a ride. Yeah. Uh, Pendleton's kind of out of that wheelhouse in that aspect. I mean, it's yeah. just it's, it's, it's a little unusual about, for that. It's about like water in the sense of how smooth it is. I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't offer a lot of the the harshness or as Cam would say, spiciness. Yeah. Um, and this one puts it back in there in that sense. So the hug is what he's calling spicy. The hug yes. is kind of what you feel in, oh, your, in, yeah. in your chest, yeah. You it's get that little, that heat, yeah. that warm yeah. sensation. Wouldn't you say spicy is the right word for that? Well, uh, oh, it's well, camp. Yeah. It's, yeah. Remember, it's oh, camp. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's camp. Who, <laughs> who are you to judge, man? Who are you to judge? <laughs> Leave the man alone. <laughs> who do you think you are? Yeah. Well, he's got his mustache back, so. Well, well that's true, that's and it right. is better than Cameron's mustache. I right? mean, I well, got that going. That's not saying a whole lot. Well, I was going to say. My buddy Bill's ten-year-old son has a better mustache than Cameron. <laughs> but uh, it's not a patchy either. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, with this one, I'll, it's a fifty-dollar price point. That's solid. I think that's great. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah, a, that's, a, that's a good buy on that. That is definitely worth that price point to me. I think. Mm -hmm. And I agree. As you guys know, that on our show, there's not a ton of stuff that's in. What we've done episodes over that's really worth the price point, and uh, yep. this one is without a doubt worth it to me. I think it's great. Um, I don't know if you're going to see it on the shelf. I haven't heard if it's allocated or not. I'll just be honest with you. I forgot I even had this. Yeah. I was looking at my personal stash in my house, and there's I open the left door, and usually my stuff is, is up top, and I just look and see what I have. I uh, opened the right door and this was behind the right door, so I forgot all about even having it. So I've had it for a couple of months, at least. Yeah. And uh, I was like, man, but it's a ride. Let's yeah. do it because yeah. you know we're us. We're three, right. We're right sure, guys. We're right guys. We're right guys. You're trying to become one. He's more of a fry guy. Yeah. <laughs> more of a fry guy. kid. One of the fry kids. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I. I, I remember as a fifty dollar price point. I, I don't remember the exact, but I mean that's that's a great price point to me for this bottle. I'm glad they didn't charge more, but they could have easily, oh, but yeah. they didn't. I'm glad they didn't. So I mean, it it does for me what I would, what I expect out of a fifty dollar whiskey. Where'd you get that? Uh, we got that at East End in uh, South Oklahoma. Oh, right on. So uh, our friends there, Cheryl and her family, uh, own this and. Um, I'll Cheers you, to they, East End. Yeah, they have been great to us, and we greatly appreciate you guys. Um, Absolutely. So, I'm, I've never found it. I've uh, never seen it. Either. I always look for rice when I go to the store. You know, if I'm just yeah. just kind of looking for what catches my eye, I've never seen that. Uh, it's possible I've overlooked it, but I think with that bottle, the, the presentation of the bottle, I, I think that's pretty eye catching. I don't think I would have glossed over that. Yeah. Um. um they did good with the packaging. I mean, I think yeah. I think the presentation looks really nice. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the cork is is heavy duty. I mean, it's it's not yeah. fragile. I think they've done a good job yeah. uh, with marketing on that. You gonna start us off on the rating? Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 2.5, just based on the inexperience of other rise. I do like it all around. It's all around good. In my, you failed it. I went. You failed it. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. If you like it, but you fail it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just a middle, just a yeah, to me everyday middle of the road. Now, nothing special. Whiskey to now you. some yeah. So somewhere down the road, I, that may change uh, on depending on the more rides that I have. So yeah, they could. I mean, as you build up your yeah. taste your change, repertoire with yeah. with tasting all a bunch of different rides, you know, it it could change. It could change. Yeah, so mm -hmm. two point five. You might five. decide that you like the higher proof stuff the more you drink. Yeah, yeah. maybe not to discard maybe, maybe the not. Pendleton Twelve Year. That's a good rye. Yeah. I will give you that. Yeah. It's not a typical rye, but it's no. a good rye. Yeah, it's yeah. Smooth. All right, Brissy, what do you think? Well, <clears throat> for me, it's a good three point two five. It's a great flavor. Uh, price point solid. The only reason for me it's a little bit lower is availability. Uh, and it may be you found it and it just hasn't made it out to a lot of stores around here yet. Uh, we know that around here, sometimes some of the better stuff doesn't make it here very often. Right. Uh, and if it does, it's very low quantity. Maybe that's the issue. Um, 
but if it was if i'd seen it you know every time i go to the store and it's that good it would probably been a 375 for me yeah. because you can walk in we could leave here tonight from filming and drive down the street and get mm -hmm. one yeah and you know all things being equal i would do that right you know, if, if it was that easy to get but i really like the flavor the it's just a, to me a very solid four i agree with you so you know i was thinking on the rating thing as we were as we were moving towards that section of this i was thinking three two five i agree with you that's the nail on the head for me um it's a great pour it's better than middle of the road compared to the rides i've had i've had i've definitely had a lot worse and i've yeah. had some better uh, but um, there's a little bit more the middle of the road for me availability i just i'll just be honest i have no idea if it's allocated or not i i can't remember i mean we do so many <laughs> spirits and stuff it, it's hard for me to remember uh something that i've put back in the cabinet mm -hmm. and not been exposed to for a couple of months so um it may be available i'm not sure but i i like them i look for a rise as well and i did not see this sitting on the shelf however i could have overlooked it i'm if i'm going in looking for something specific i could easily overlook that and just not realize it you know yep. so i think 3.25 is a is a good rating for this and uh, i'm right there with you man right on let's see you simon well not to be outdone you know two and a quarter I, <laughs> it's good it's yummy even yep. and a good price point but <laughs> once this is gone it's not here i can't do anything about it so two and a quarter make it more available you'll have a higher rating fair enough Utility. where is it at Utility. in uh as far as your rise that you've had do you is it a better ride on your scale or yeah it's one of the better rides i've had i don't know which one is my favorite so far um i don't know man i just finished off a bottle of the elijah craig ride and it was fan freaking tastic and it is on the shelf everywhere right now yeah and it's so, not, it's like 30 bucks yeah, it's, too, it's 30 so. bucks so right. um uh yeah it's it's one of the better ones um probably my least favorite from what i remember one of the first time one of the first rides that i tried was old forester ride didn't really care for it i'm gonna revisit that soon um unfortunately now old forester ride is very hard to find here yeah um <laughs> yeah i haven't seen that in a yeah pretty good while um, but it is then the yeah. other one uh, my first ride that I really liked was minor case we revisited that once and it's just nowhere near as good as I thought it was yeah so this kicks minor cases ass um, I like the Knob Creek ride this is one of the better rides I don't know where I would I can't try to think of what else well, I mean you know uh, you don't have to remember everyone yeah. specifically I just wonder yeah. if it was kind of on the oh no it's on the upper it's on the upper end on the better end. Yeah. yeah yeah it's it's on the high end of my flavor profiles the flavors that i enjoy mm. unfortunately i don't enjoy not being able to find it so yeah i agree with you there yeah. um that means a lot to me uh yeah <laughs> well, i mean it kind of means a lot to all of us because i mean once this was is gone we don't we don't have it available to us anymore unless they come out with it but you would think with that many with eighteen thousand uh, bottles available and i don't know if that's you know i don't know how many bottles they do in a batch and if they do three of those a year well they at least at eighteen thousand five hundred and whatever 60, so yeah. yeah so there should be more in the yeah area. i mean you would think it's a it's a kentucky mm -hmm. rye whiskey you know so i i don't know yeah um it may just be something that the distributors around here don't really deal a lot with mm -hmm. castle and kia i'm, yeah. I'm not that's sure. also very possible are they a, they're a fairly new distillery are they not yeah, I don't think they've been around terribly yeah, long. So, I mean, not like uh, some of the others. Yeah, but. so that may be. I think thing. they got started like in 2014 yeah. or 2016, somewhere in that area. I don't think they're. You guys find out, let us know. I don't think they're that. I think it's 2014, mm -hmm. 2016, somewhere in that area. So I don't think they're very old at all. Yeah. So I mean, you're looking at maybe max eight years. Yeah. So, well, I mean, you know, and you got something coming out that's three and a half years aged mm -hmm. so i mean half the time they've been out that's been aging pretty much so yep. yeah yeah um it, it sucks starting a new distillery because you've got years yeah i mean i mean before you can see any type of 
Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, you've got all these other distilleries that are established that can just crank stuff out like crazy, and you know, getting started is tough, yeah. as we know. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, um, we plan on doing another giveaway at 350 subscribers. So be sure you share us and help get us out there. Yep. Um, but I don't want to skip the cigar that we're smoking. This is a Davidoff Yamasta. And this is kind of their normal production line of Davidoff cigars. Um, but that don't let that discredit the cigar. This is a good cigar. Um, I really enjoy it. They have great premium cigars. And this is this doesn't get into their really high-end, super expensive stuff. It's kind of more of an uh, everyday smoke, if you will. Um, so Bruce knows some stuff about this, and he's going to let us let So us know. the one we're actually smoking is the Petit Churchill. It's a four and a half inch by 48 ring gauge so it's a kind of a smaller cigar uh, you don't need to have an hour or two hour cigar this is perfect this is probably a 30 40 minute smoke depending on how fast you smoke it um, the Yamasa region was basically swampland and they you know people said oh you can't grow tobacco there and Hinky Kellner, one of the master blenders for Davidoff, said, yeah, watch me. And, and sure enough, Hold my ride and watch that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they planted a bunch of tobacco there, and this is uh, where this came from. So you've got a Dominican and Nicaraguan filler, a uh, Yamasa binder and wrapper. Uh, it's a good spicy little cigar. Uh, yeah. I mm -hmm. took a took a sip and, and took a pull on the cigar. They, they pair well, they don't fight, they complement really well. Um, so it's a good pairing. I agree. And yeah. uh, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the, the, the combo, if you will. You know, it's kind of crazy the determination that a lot of the cigar companies have uh, when it comes to, to doing this stuff. You know, I mean, it's, it's. There's that will like, and that hard work that goes into yeah, it. Yeah, and, and it's yeah. generations of family yeah. deep. Yeah. And I mean, you look at these uh, cigar manufacturers, and there's been lots of people saying, "No, you can't do that," and they say, "Yeah, right. you just hide and yeah. watch," and they make it happen, you know. So yeah, I think this one, they they were very successful with this one. I agree. Uh, against you know whatever odds there were. Yeah. Uh, well, having I mean, to, grow to grow it, in a swamp. grow I mean, it in a <laughs> in a very in a very inhospitable it's area. Uh, yeah. I think they knocked it out of the park. So I agree. So we want to give a shout out to 906 uh, Cigar and Cocktail Lounge. Thank you for letting us film at this yeah. venue. If you guys have not been here, we strongly encourage you to come down, check this place out. There's plenty of seating. They have uh, live bands come in and play, some oldies, classical jazz, things of that nature, uh, some big band stuff. Um, you can, most of the time, you can talk to your neighbor and hear them. Sometimes the band gets a little excited, but hey, everyone here does too. You know, we have a good time down here. Um, they've got tons of different spirits, as you can see, um, from high end stuff all the way down to light beer. Um, you yeah. know, Bush light beer. Bush, Bush, Bush light, light beer, to so. Louis Thirteenth yeah. Cognac. Yeah. So that's a and that's McCallan a pretty 30, that's a pretty wide yeah. variation. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. Um, so and they've got lots of foods finger foods sandwiches wonton chos my favorite is the wings love their wings they have different options on those mm -hmm. um, and yes they have blue cheese or ranch whatever your dipping sauce preference is they have that stuff i mean this is just the place to be so we definitely recommend you come down here they have uh the air system replaces the air every four minutes mm -hmm. uh in the in the building so i mean it's the cleanest air you're going to breathe in fort smith um and you said it was like, like surgical grade? Yeah, it's pretty close. Almost like surgical grade air. Pretty so close. They have ionizers that kill the germs and things like that. Yep. So uh, we strongly encourage you to come visit our friends down here at 906. And it's a great time. The service is awesome. The waiters, waitresses are just, they can't wait to help you. They have lots of cigars to choose from. Matter of fact, you can get this Yamasa Davidoff down here at 906. So uh, come see them mm -hmm. and uh, tell them that we sent you. Be sure you guys subscribe, uh, tell your friends about us, like our videos, comment down there on the in the comments if there's something you want us to try uh, to review and, and pair that with a cigar, um, let us know and uh, we'll get to it and make it happen. Uh, until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Bye -bye.